it's tactile. Um, it, it, it's, it has a smell. And so you have a f more, uh, 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 a more holistic experience dealing with it because, well, computers shouldn't have a smell and the keyboard shouldn't be sticky, right? So you are interacting with it in a very narrow band, which means that, you know, the smell could recall some memory and that could make that experience of, of that richer because you're thinking at the same time of, of data and information and now you have to smell and so this is this is now a, a fully fledged experience and the, the, the dripping thing and, and the, the, the physicality of the medium and and its own the, its own laws that it it kind of can be described by leaves room for surprises and and, uh, and 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 undesired outcomes, and you have to be prepared to spot which ones are good and which ones are bad, um, and and think about it. You know, nature has provided you with this little uh, blemish or or this uh, effect or behavior that that you didn't necessarily intend. What are you going to do about it? How are you going to react to it? Sometimes, you know, if you spill the paint, then I mean, that's not a good thing. That, that's, that's, that's a bad process. And you say, well, that's, that nature has provided me with a mistake. I need to clean this up. Uh, but sometimes it's not so obvious. So uh, we, this idea, idea of everything being, you know, objectively perfect, all the apples in the grocery store are absolutely perfect and none have blemishes, makes you think that that's what an apple is. An apple isn't that. That's very engineered thing. And when you go and you go into an orchard and you just eat a wild apple, you look at it, there's a worm in there. That's good. That means that other things want to eat it too, which is you know encouraging. <laughs> so it's actually good food. But you know, we used to. I remember my grandfather when we would, we would eat apples in Poland. Uh, you know, he would have a knife with him all the time. Uh, and it wasn't because he was going to be brawling in the, in the alley. It's because he was cutting out parts of bad fruit that, that you know, he couldn't eat. And that was fine because that was, the, that, was, that was accepted as part of eating. You would just cut out the, 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 the moldy part or the rotten part and you'd eat the rest. And that was delicious because the apple was still good. So I, I think we need a bit more of that, you know. And... and that there's probably that's probably metaphorical, and there's probably relationships between that and, and, and ways in which we 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 put down shapes on the page, and what in which ways we, we do art that it isn't it isn't perfect, whereas the computer generates it as perfectly as you want it to be, at a higher resolution than you can perceive, and you can completely control the entire environment and ray trace it from scratch. So there's no surprises there um, at all, which is how do you get surprised? How do you, how do you mix in that, that, that bit, you know, where you turn on that, uh, let the software do its own thing mode, where once in a while something gets changed and you didn't intend it, and now you have to figure out how to deal with it. That'd be a that'd be a, f a fun, uh, a fun game to play actually. When it, for designers, you, they get some shapes, and these shapes are changing, and they just have to keep up with the changing shapes in some way that 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 makes sense because it's out of their control. And at some point, the game ends because they can no longer cope with all the shapes on the page. <laughs>